Startups play a key role in that they bring uh, point solutions you know, that are ready to deploy and can be used in a way of demonstrating the potential behind the solution. You know, one of the things that's difficult is if you've got an innovation, you know, you've got to build it out. And it can be difficult in all but the largest IT operations, you know, think large financial services or very large global multinationals, to have the money to go build out something and test it and then have it fail. You know, and spend a lot of money. So the startup fills that that void to say, here, I, I see, you know, I can find this something that can plug into your operation, you can test, you can see the ROI, and then make a, a decision on this. And all of that risk has been taken by the startup. You know, so by definition, you know, that people wonder why startups, you know, either make spectacular amounts of money or fail, you know, it's because all the risk has been taken by them in that. And that's part of why they're so important to the ecosystem. You know, I think what's interesting is, you know, back to that winning and losing, like why do some do really well and why do some fail though? Um, you know, okay, there are clearly startups who have a bad product, right? I mean, there's, you know, I've seen that and you, you're left scratching your head a little bit as to what exactly are they trying to sell? But if you look at a space where you've got startups all trying to do similar things and they all have decent products, I thought about it. So what stops people from you know, being successful? First, is the product really ready for operational execution? You know, I think you, know, you get, especially with um, VCs and others like, okay, go sell, go sell. And then you know, if it's not quite ready, you can work on it and you know, recover. You know, maybe. Maybe in a consumer space, you might be able to get away with it, but selling to uh, an enterprise and it's got to work. 